Have you ever wanted to go to the gates of hell and stomp a god's balls in dominatrix boots? Well, this frantic action game lets you do just that, continuing the story of a badass British witch with enough curves to make any road a death trap. So hold on to your genitals and get ready for another ranting robot review. Hello humans, I am Bloop the Robot. And I am Bleep the Robot. And together we are the Ranting Robots, very clever. Today, we are reviewing the human video game titled Bayonetta 2 for the Nintendo Switch video game system. This time, Bayonetta is back shopping with Joe Pesci during a busy holiday season. Like the consumer culture your society has developed into, distracting you from what's really going on in life. You know, like realizing that both political parties fuck you or that reptilian overlords really control everything and give you hemorrhoids. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Jingle all the way. Thank you for saving me, Bleep. That rant was getting a bit too serious for a stupid video game review. But it's a little early for Christmas, isn't it, you premature asshole? Why are you so happy? I'm not happy. I'm just hyper from all the ice cream we're drowning our pain with. That makes sense. Ice cream does a mentally unstable body good. That's what the commercials told me. At this point, a bunch of pesky ass angels hijack a plane and almost cause a bunch of Pearl Harbors until Bayonetta kicks it. Get on that, humans. No need for hundreds of billions of dollars for your defense military industrial complex because all apparently you need is a sexy ass British woman to kick your troubles away. Bayonetta must now save her friend, find the gates of hell to slaughter both angels and demons, and oh yes, get naked a whole lot. Seriously, there's so many butt cheeks in this game that it looked like a butt cheek factory. Gotta make the butt cheeks somewhere, am I right? I think I put on some holiday depression weight bloop. Figgy pudding ice cream is good for you, right? You bet your flabby robot tits it is. The graphics are gorgeous and look even better than the original. And the environments only get more and more beautiful over the 10 hour campaign and 16 chapters filled with combat. Yes. It's even smoother than a baby's bottom that has been polished for hours with sandpaper and then shellacked with a cancerous poison. However, be warned humans, button mashing will only get you so far, especially if you've let yourself put on so much weight that your chubby robot fingers hit all of the f***ing buttons at once. I know Bloop, I have a weight problem. I'm gonna ask Santa for cyanide pills for Christmas now. Cyanide does work as a delicious ice cream topping in the game. You'll be combining deadly kicks and gun blasts quicker than a bunch of humans fighting in a Black Friday toy brawl for a realistic Elmo doll that poops itself and blames the dog. Do you think Santa would bring me a noose? I am very familiar with pathetic signs of depression. You're not still bothered that Bayonetta does not want to get involved with you romantically, are you? No. I realized that Bayonetta is too perfect and I should lower my standards, but now I got fat, my body's literally a dumpster fire. Stop eating flaming trash then and get some self-respect. You can make a resolution after the holidays like all the other stupid fat humans do. No, I need to get healthy now. I'm gonna eat some diet figgy pudding ice cream instead. Let's see where this f***ing goes. These badass combos in the game are even more chainable and gruesome than the previous game. They link together well quite gruesomely like a man fucking his wife's razor blade filled vagina with his fishhook penis. This is especially because every fight seems like a Final Fantasy boss. There's more skilled button mashing than a video game about making perfectly creamy mashed potatoes. There are tons of collectibles to trigger the dopamine in your brain. There are moon pearls that expand your magic meter about as quickly as moon pies expand the circumference of your ass. And this supermodel assassin can even shapeshift into a panther or sea serpent this time. I bet a sea serpent could help me exercise. I'll put the Loch Ness Monster on my Christmas list too. Then we can go swimming together in my kiddie pool. You are extra mentally challenged today, Bleep. Did you get a little too close to the microwave when heating up your fermented hot fudge? I sure did, but I can't wait to lose the weight with my new coach. Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 Loch Ness Monster. If you already bought the Wii U version and are hesitating because of the crumbling economy, the Switch version is worth it, humans. Go ahead and attain a third or fourth job in order to buy it, you cheap fuck. Speaking of money, 
you are rewarded with money for dismembering things, which should be a lesson in every single episode of Sesame Street. This game, like the first, is a beat-em-up hack and slash, and the more variety you add to your own attacks, the more sadistic the torture becomes to your enemies. When you figure out the rhythm, it's much more fun. It's sort of like a lethal seesaw. I'll never seesaw again with my tubby robot butt. I just looked up how hard it is to lose weight. I'd have to train every day and give up waffles and figgy pudding ice cream. Fuck it. Please pass me the shotgun. Okay, bleep. You have hit a new low. I will now switch into motivational mode. You cannot give up hope because you are fat. Fat things are appreciated in today's world, especially at Christmas. Santa, for example, is way past obese. He's a few thousand McRibs past an acceptable BMI. When he sits around the North Pole, his ass is fat enough that it looks like a rectal thermometer. He's basically one pound away from getting his own TLC show. And kids love him is what I'm trying to say. You're right, Bloop. Fat makes people look jolly. That is correct. Jolly and most likely to stink. So therefore, you gotta stay alive, Bleep. Despite you being annoying, I would be kinda lonely without you, so stay the fuck alive. And humans, you gotta play this game. It improves upon the first in every way. The loading screens are way quicker than the Wii U version, though this could be a downside if you used to eat all of your depression ice cream during the loading, of course. You can unleash your inner girly child in this game too, because you can dress up the curvy British witch bitch into many unique Nintendo outfits this time, like Daisy, Peach, Link, Samus, and Fox. Oh, and there's also a Star Fox Easter egg that is so badass that I cannot even begin to compute it because you get to fly a ship around and do barrel rolls. I'm sort of like Slippy the Toad from Star Fox. You know what? You are correct, Bleep. And Slippy is such an important figure in that game series. He still remains in the totally thriving and most popular of all Nintendo franchises. You are just as loved as the mainstream and totally in Smash Brothers since the N64 days cherished frog icon. I believe you, Bloop. If Slippy can do it, I can do it. I'll be Slippy Claws, and I'll give dead crickets and diet waffles to all the children. And if this plan fails, I'll become Bleep the Bulimic Robot and puke all my problems away. I will take a competent and emotionally stable partner for Christmas if you have any of those sitting around, because I don't want to deal with your bipolar ways in the upcoming Bayonetta 3 review. In conclusion, Bayonetta 2 gets 9.333 out of 10 bots. The sequel does not disappoint, like losing a 12-hour game of Strip Monopoly. It will not let you down like your alcoholic stepdad either. Get this game, humans. It is worth owning a Nintendo Switch for. Have yourself a merry little Switch, miss. Have yourself some fun. I'll give kids the gifts of porn and drugs and guns. Indeed, this review is over. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our Patreon for exclusive content. Bye bye humans.